Merhaba arkadaşlar kanalımın yepyeni bir videosuna hoş geldiniz. Bugün My Career bölüm 1 ile karşınızdayım. NBA 2K24 başladı. Dün bir canlı yayın yaptık. My Builder için vesaire. Biraz parkta da gezdik. Oyun öğrenmeye çalışıyoruz. Yeni dribbleları öğrenmeye çalışıyoruz. Ama My Career serimizin ilk maçına, ilk bölümüne hoş geldiniz. Bugün burada... Sizlere bildiğimi göstereceğim. Bildiğim bu beyler. Gördüğünüz gibi daha çok ofansif odaklı bir build. 92 üçlük oluyor. 90 driving dunk, contact dunklar alıyoruz vesaire. 6 bir. Bu benim my career bildim. İlk bildim. Biraz parkta da takılıyorum bununla takılacağım. Ve direkt laf uzatmadan maça geçmek istiyorum. Rakibimiz Denver Nuggets. 2022-23'ün şampiyonu ve biz de ben de Lakers'tayım. Let's go. Top gördüğünüz gibi Katımı görmedi. Çünkü bomboş kaldım. İlk üçlüğüm başarılı. Olmaz. Olmaz. Fan Fred. Uuu muazzam bir screen geldi. Vanderbilt'ten. <gülüyor> My career özlemişim ya. He Hele hele yeni yeni olması Jamal Murray kaçırdı. Çok güzel. Çok güzel. İşte bu Murray, ha zıplamam lazım bu. Let's go. Jamal Murray. Jamal Murray, pick geldi KCP'den. Porter. Çok güzel bir stil la. Van de Bilt içeride eliyup. Fast break eliyup. Vah. Çok güzel eliyup. Muazzamdı ya. Çok güzel. Lebron bomboş kal düştü. Başarılı. İşte bu. Sonunda. Davis'ten pas. Muazzam bir cash and shoot. Of olmadı. En sonunda Davis'le anlaşabildik ve faul. Çok güzel dışarıya. Lebron. Bang. Dışarıya. Hachimura. Let's go. Lan, i̇lk maçımda. E fark 19 sayı. Yok hiç muazzam bir step back. Lebron ele yu bitch. Erin Gordon. Ah. 
Çok güzel. Dışarıda Anthony Davis üçlükte boş kaçtı. Oyun ilk maçımda 5 faulle oyundan atlıyorum. 41 sayı, 11 asist ile. Gary Carson, local news. MP, this was the most anticipated rookie debut since LeBron James. And even with all that hype, you blew away expectations. Your box score numbers jump off the page. You outperformed guys like Michael Jordan and LeBron James in their first games. Is it fair to say that you're on your way to becoming one of the next all-time greats? Uh, most guys in the league think they've got that kind of ceiling. I mean, why else would you work this hard? But Michael Jordan isn't Michael Jordan because he had a good first game. He's MJ because he won six chips, five MPPs, nine all defense. My ceiling's sky high, bro. I mean, but of course, I want legendary status, and I won't have it until I start winning chips. It's that simple. Uh, next question. Thank you. Uh, right over here. Lina Becker, Sportbild monatlich. Wie fühlt es sich an, dein allererstes NBA-Spiel zu gewinnen mit Fans, die auf der ganzen Welt sind? <lacht> Lina Becker, Sport Monthly. How does it feel to get your first win in an NBA game with fans watching all around the world? Um, getting the win is huge. Hey, wherever fans of this team live, I want to make them happy because that's what it's all about. Um, gelling as a team, winning games, and giving the people who support you a reason to be proud. Danke. Thank you. All right, we got time for one more. Uh, you, sir, in the back. Damian Patterson, City Free Press. What does it mean to you to be a third-generation NBA player, following in the footsteps of your father Prince and grandfather Chuck? Uh, yeah, it means I have a target on my back. I had every advantage growing up, I know that. And I've got all the natural ability in the world, thanks to my genetics. When you got both those things, people want to take you down a peg. But I thrive on that. It makes me better. Thank you. Next question. Um, right, right up front. Parfait, merci. Beatrice Corbet, La Compétition. Votre maillot est le maillot le plus vendu en France en ce moment. Avez-vous un message pour vos fans français? Beatrice Corbet, the competition. Your jersey is the number one selling jersey in France at the moment. Do you have any message for your French fans? Uh, oui, oui, actually. J'aime la France. Oh, très bien, vous parlez français. <laughs> what did she say? And she asked if you speak French. Oh. <laughs> well, there's your answer. Listen, they told me a few days ago who'd be here, so I practiced some stuff in different languages, but unfortunately, no, I don't speak French, as you guessed it. But maybe one day, though, it's a beautiful country, beautiful people, beautiful language, and, uh, hey, merci. <laughs> Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'll see you next time. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm proud of you, MP. Hey, you should be. I'm about to do something special with the family name. No? Level it up. You talk real big for somebody who just was crying as they dropped their uh, Ninja Turtle in the toilet. Ha! Ah, that was like 12 years ago. I'm a, I'm a grown man now. You can't even rent a car. <laughs> That's why I got you. Uh-huh. And you're lucky that you do. Hey, I appreciate it, Pop. You here to keep me on track? Uh huh You know what the goal is. Greatness. That's right. Oh, uh, speaking of, you know who this guy is. Yeah. What about him? just updated his all-time goat list. It says that you have a chance to make it to the top someday. For real? Mm-hmm. Take a look. 
So with all this talk about MP being the best prospect since LeBron James and Victor Webinyama being a generational talent, it got me thinking about my all-time GOAT list. Now, if you are new to the pod, you might not know that I have a passion for ranking the legends. I've spent a massive amount of time researching their careers, and I've placed them into five tiers of greatness. You can find that list on my website, by the way. Now, I love working on my GOAT list, but these guys are so legendary that they tend to stay in the same spot year after year. So I decided to add a new tier called the Got Next tier. This tier contains some of the younger guys in the league who aren't quite GOATs yet, but who, if they continue on their current trajectories, will almost certainly be in that discussion when their careers are over. Now, you may be wondering who's in the got next here, so let's get to it. These are in order, by the way. Luka, Embiid, Tatum, Zion, Webinyama, and of course, MP. Now, a lot of you might be like, you know, I put MP behind Webinyama, but they're basically tied if, you know, as I see it. And if MP distinguishes himself early on, I'll be happy to swap him with Vic. So, let me know. What do you think? Is there anyone who should be on the Got Next tier, but isn't? Is there anyone who is there, but shouldn't be? Hit me up on social. We'll talk about it. These are the kind of people you want on your side if they're going to call you the ghost someday. Oh, come on, Pop. Media doesn't matter. It's all about winning games. Yeah, you're wrong. You need to understand how these people see you. I wish I would have played the game when I was your age. Look, I'll do respect, Pop. I'm not like you. I'm not going to make the same mistakes you did. I spent the best years of my career in losing situations because winning organizations didn't see me as someone who had the head screwed on time. Because you didn't, though. Not at first, OK? But when I was with Dallas, they gave me a shot. Could have been sooner if I had played the game. <sighs> All right. So you're trying to do something that nobody's ever done before. And when you do it, believe me, you will do it. There's going to be no question of the goat is. That's how you leave it all out on the floor. Nice job. Gördüğünüz gibi goat tier. Hedefimiz goat olmak. Bir numarayı yükselmek. Burada Allen Iverson'u görüyoruz. Ben ben ya ama benim önümde Zion var. Allen Iverson, Kawhi. En yukarıda ise bir numara The Gold, MJ, LeBron James, üç numarada Kobe Bryant. Bunlar da gördüğünüz gibi sayı 33.643 sayı atmış. Hedefimiz Gold olmak. Bakalım Gold Progress var. My kariyerde hedef olması güzel. Böylelikle ilk bölümümüzün sonuna geldik beyler. Lütfen beğenmeyi, yeni olanlar takip etmeyi unutmayın. Yeni bir videoda görüşmek üzere. İkinci bölümde kendinize iyi bakın.